learned some about the medicinal use of animals. The use of animals to be essential in biomedical research in order to have a better understanding of the living body, know what goes wrong in disease, and develop safe and effective ways of preventing or treating those diseases. There are two aspects to talk about that. The first one is the pharmacology. The second one is the animal testing. For the situation, don't you know that there are 100 million animals attested on each year? For the history, the dolly the sheep was a significant example. In 1996, it was cloned from an adult cell, proving the possibilities of cloning technique. For more example, mice and rabbits can be used for the physiology and toxicology testing. Cats and dogs are used in neurology and cardiology. Oh, I know some about, something about the pharmacology of animals. Pharmacology is a study of medicine derived from the natural resources. That could be plants or even animals. Most of the natural resources would be renewable with proper usage. And I'm going to introduce you a clot busting drug, which is used for treating ischemic stroke. The ischemic stroke is due to the blood clots in artery and decreased oxygen supply through the artery to the brain. The clot busting drug could dissolve the blood clots and restart the blood flow to the brain, which helps prevent damages in the brain cell. Why I mention clot busting drug is because it's derived from the venom of the Malayan pit vampire. Uh, a substance in this kind of drug is called ANCORD. ANCORD is a defibrinogenating agent that prevents new blood clots from forming. And the venom of the Malayan pit vampire got this ANCORD. And the venom could cause severe pain to humans, but death is not common. The benefits of uh, pharmacognosy of animals might be uh, they might got specific proteins or enzymes for treating various diseases and the disease that still have no treatment yet could have a chance to find a cure. Usually once you find the DNA of the code for specific cure protein, then it's very easy to produce it in a large amount. I also know something about animal testing. Animal testing is the use of the non-human animals in experiment. The common types of animals are the vertebrates such as the rodents, non-human permits, and the invertebrates such as the fruit flies and the worms. The reason why the scientists use fruit flies is because they share 75% of genetics which are similar to humans. And also they are easy to keep and can live in a small area for a long time. Also, uh, they have a high reproductive rate which they, a female fruit flies can lay 400 eggs once. And the reason why the scientists use rodents is because there's more, is, there's more size and also they are easy to maintain and also they have a high adaptability and also a high reproductive rate. They are also easy to produce in a lab as a scientist can breed a reproduct, a, a rodents which carry human disease. The last reason why uh, is because um, rodents' genetic and biological and behavior characteristic are similar to humans. Mm, I think you guys cannot neglect the disadvantages of animal testings. And as we all know that many animals will be killed or being experimented and they are cruel and inhuman and they will receive unnecessary pain and discomfort. And in fact, some substance tests it is not quite useful. Why? Because animals and humans are absolutely not the same and they are never genetically exactly the same. And also, it's very expensive of the animal testing. So, can you guys think of any regulations? Can you give me the examples? Reducing the numbers of animals used. Yes. Refining procedures to cause less pain to animals. Yes. Replacing animals with other means such as nanotechnology. Oh, you guys are quite smart. And also, drugs extracted from animals is essential. But the conservation of animal resources is a concern. Animal testing would cause unnecessary pain to animals, but the test result is significant. Many laws and regulations have been put in place to ensure the safety and effectiveness of animal testing. Thank you.